May bagong pasabog na naman si Vivo. Si Vivo Y73, upper entry-level smartphone from Vivo. Uy, this could be it. The phone to beat other phones? Ito pa ay merong Helio G95 processor pang gaming. Meron pa siyang 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, 4,000 mAh of battery, 33 watts of fast charging, 64 MP night camera. Guys, in this channel, sabi ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga life-changing phones na na-review ko. Could this be part of my life-changing phones list? We will find out. Let the life-changing unboxing video begin. Okay, so regular Vivo box. White and blue color. Hindi kaya atinista si Vivo? Vivo mini box. Sa loob, ang kanyang jelly case, important information and warranty card, quick start guide, of course, yung cell phone, oh, diamonds, shine bright like a diamond, mm -hmm. and oh my god, ito na ito yung life-changing accessories na nakita dito, meron siyang earphones na kasama, may microphone, of course, USB Type-C, 33 watts fast charger, and yung kanyang SIM, and check your pin. Alright, ito na siya. Ah, macho yung pag-pull. Diamond. Sparkly diamonds. Wow. This is the second time I have seen this design. Guys, let me know in the comments below kung ano yung ganito design na Vivo dati. Kasi, nakalimutan ko. Hindi ako na malalaman sa babayan. But yes, meron na gitong design dati pa. Pero kasi itong phone ay mas mura compared dun sa dati, I think. And with this, you will get a very sleek looking Sparkly looking back. Ah, sound effects. Actually, they're calling it the diamond flare. Meron pa siyang black color. The Roman black. Don't you just love that diamond? Tapos, uy, glass pala to. But not just any type of glass. Ito po ay anti-fingerprint glass. Na kahit tinawakan mo siya ng marami sa likod, malinis pa rin siya, guys. Wala masyadong smudge. Ito yung gusto mo para laging malinis tingnan yung phone sa likod. Which means, baka hindi mo nakalala ng jelly case dito. Nice. Para syempre, pwede mo pagyabang to sa mga kaibigan mo. Guys, may new Vivo phone. Actually, pang girls pala itong itsura nito, ah. So kung babae ka at meron mga girlfriends, pwede mo pagyabang to, no? Here's my new Vivo phone. Pero kung lalaki ka, okay pa rin to. Kasi nga, pwede mo pang give sa inyong girlfriend or sa... Niligawan nyo, no? Pwede rin kay mama, mukha siya social lang talaga, no? It still looks like a very expensive phone. Actually, when it comes to design, no? Si Vivo talaga, no? Sa mga mid-range phones niya, akala mo pang flagship phone yung ko nalang binibenta. Halos lahat actually mukhang pang flagship ang design ng mga phones nila. They are the best in the business when it comes to entry-level or mid-range phones na mukhang pang flagship. Check out the camera, mukha siya pang Vivo X60 or X70. You get the very big lens and two small ones below. By the way, yung camera pala is 64MP main camera. Meron pa siyang 2MP bokeh lens and 2MP macro lens. Ang selfie camera naman, 16 megapixels yan, which is a dewdrop notch. Now, this phone is very slim, guys. 7.38 millimeters. Ultra slim. AG glass down tawag sa kanya. Oh, it's glass pala. Hmm, I didn't know that. Pero yung body is made out of plastic, so it's very light as well. Even though meron siyang 4,000 milliampere battery. So yes, mag-aan lang po. Kapag ginagamit mo siya sa gabi, kapag ginanto ka na kapag ginahuli sa mukha mo, it's okay, hindi siya ganun kabigat. That is a big plus for me. Actually, overall, in terms of entry level down na design, this is one of the best out there. Isa sa mga pinakasosyal na entry-level phones, upper entry-level phones ni Vivo. And of course, very minimalistic lang. It's just the camera, the logo. Sa right side, yung power button, volume rocker sa taas niya, microphone sa taas, sa ilalim, headphone jack, may microphone, USB Type-C port, at ito yung speaker. Wow, kaya pa ba itaas yan? Sa laptop, TV! Boom! Nakita yung range ko. Kaling na. Last mo nila. Which is a dual nano SIM card slot and a dedicated micro SD card slot for expandability. Nice. Maraming pwede ilagay dito. Pictures, photos, games, everything. And oh, mukhang AMOLED to ah. Boom. Guys, you're gonna get an AMOLED display here which is my favorite type of display. Ito po ay mataas ang brightness, magandang color, solid lahat ang makita mo dito. Very sharp yung mga text, yung icons, yung mga pictures sa Facebook. Very sharp. Mukhang pang flagship. Actually for me, kapag ka merong AMOLED display ang isang entry-level phone, it kind of feels like a flagship phone experience, no? Malaki sa indifference guys, no? Kapag nanggaling ka sa isang IPS LCD display, medyo dim yun, medyo kulang yung color, medyo patay. Kapag nag-AMOLED, Amulet ka ang laki ng lundag in terms of quality. And I'm really glad na sinama ito ni Vivo dito sa Vivo Y73. Ito pa ay 6.44 inch FHD Plus, no? 1080p. Wait for it! Display! Oh, walang high refresh rate na sinabi ah. So wala siyang high refresh rate guys. Pero Amulet naman siya. Which is mas important compared sa high refresh rate. I would pick Amulet over high refresh rate any day. Except kung pare sila meron. Pero ayun lang, naka-dewdrop notch pa rin siya. So very nostalgic ang kanyang itsura. Lalang, halos lahat kasi ng mga brands ngayon. 
ay naka-punch hole na. Ito ay dewdrop rin. Pero para sa akin, punch hole, notch, dewdrop notch, parehas pa rin yan. Meron pa rin siyang space na ibinigay para sa kanyang selfie camera. Actually, kahit punch hole pa yan, the same pa rin yung experience for me. Pero kasi kapag punch hole to, upper left corner siya nilagay, pwede kasi matakpan yan ng inyong thumb para magmukha siyang all screen no notch display. Pag naglalaro, ayun. Pero kung sanay ka naman, hindi ka bothered sa kanyang dewdrop notch, it's totally okay. What matters here is yung kanyang AMOLED display. Meron siya dito and it's perfect for watching videos sa YouTube. And get this, meron pa siyang HDR sa YouTube up to 4K. Ganyan ang optimization na ibinigay ni Vivo for this phone. So yes, HDR capabilities meron. The videos just look so sharp. And bawat ng 4K ah, I, I'm not sure how they did this pero may 4K video capabilities sa YouTube. Netflix, ganito yung itsura niya, no? Okay din. Maganda ang itsura ng mga movies dito kasi nga naka-amulid siya. At hindi lang sa mga movies, no? Sa mga games din. Ang ganda ng itsura ng mga graphics ng games. It looks so sharp. At bagay na bagay sa Mobile Legends kasi bright and colorful si Mobile Legends. Which is talaga nagbe-benefit kay Mobile Legends kasi nga bright and colorful si Mobile Legends. Talaga na-emphasize yung kanyang colors and effects. But yes, before I show you the gameplay and the settings, ito muna kanyang Antutu benchmark. That is the power of the Helio G95 processor. 300! 46,000 points mataas po yan for a phone like this. Actually, when you get to 300,000 points and to, to benchmark, everything, no? Everything like Facebook, YouTube, pag na-navigate sa home screen, everything is actually very smooth na. Wala na po siyang lag, guys. Hindi siya katulad natin mga ibang cellphones na at this price range, medyo naglalag pa rin yung mga interfaces. Ngayon, hindi na, guys. And para sa akin, kailangan mo na lang siguro ng mga mamabilis sa processor sa mga games. Kung gamer ka, kailangan mo talaga na mabilis processor. Pero kung light usage ka lang naman, nagbo-browse, nagbo-facebook, this is actually all you need. At ito na, meron siyang ultra graphics right out of the box. Guys, hindi nyo nakalang update pa. Meron siyang higher frame rates. Siyempre, wala siyang super or ultra kasi nga, wala siyang high refresh rate, guys. And ayun, ang combination na kanyang AMOLED display plus yung ultra graphics ay napakaganda. Mas masarap tingnan yung mga effects, yung mga skills. The game looks visually stunning on this phone. And nasarap pa niyang hawakan kapag ganito. Kasi nga, very smooth yung likod niya. Malakas din yung volume, kaya lang uh, medyo may pagkasabog na kapag full. At ayun, Call of Duty, kompleto ang kanyang settings, very high settings. Max frame rates available for this game on this phone. Bukas sa Helio G95 ay very optimized na ngayon, no? Parang matagal na itong processor na to. So, since matagal na siya, optimized na siya for most games. So, maganda yung decision nila na ilalagay yung processor din sa phone na to. And with that, kompleto yung kanyang settings. Ang ganda ng graphics sobra. Di ko akala na pang gaming pala din to. Akala kasi pang camera lang, and maganda yung design. Sabi ko, ay, Helio G95 na naman. Noong last year kasi guys, kulang-kulang itong G95, kulang sa settings, kulang sa optimization. Pero 2022, kompleto na. And it just makes much more sense to get this today than ever. Wow, I'm seriously impressed with this phone. I'll also another memory release. But uh, this is almost game-changing, ha? Huh? Almost. Sa Genshin Impact, ito po yung tsura niya. Since very colorful si Genshin Impact, talagang perfect siya for the AMOLED display. The vibrant colors are much more emphasized on this display. But of course, since, uh, you know, 300,000 points ato to benchmark, mga sa medium graphics yung kanyang pinaka-okay. Any higher than that, talagang medyo frame drops na. Kung gusto talaga na smooth, lowest settings, 60 frames per second. But yes, that Helio G95 processor has been very much optimized, no? Sa, sa Genshin Impact, Mobile Legends, Call of Duty. Mabilis na siya ngayon, tingnan. Which is very good. So, gaming, panalo siya. But what about the camera? Guys, alam niyo naman si Bibo. It is well known for two things. Una-una, the best siya sa design. Pangalawa, ang kanyang camera is unmatched. Eto, yung mga pictures na nakuha ko sa kanya. Ibang klase na talaga ang camera ni Vivo ngayon. Kung gaano kaganda yung mga Vivo X70 nila, Vivo B series, ganito rin si Vivo Y73. Exceptional yung portrait shots dito. Ganda ng background blur. At yung color talaga, talagang may buhay. And the details, ooh, nice. At... Yung kanya stabilization, guys, ito. Very stable po yung video niya, as you can see right here. Kasi, meron po siyang ultra stabilization na option, which is natin nahanap lang sa kanilang mga mid-range or high-end phones. But guys, dito, meron siyang ganun. And meron pa siyang dual video. Ito po yung sample ng dual video. So kung nga, gusto mo mag-unboxing ka tulad ko. Ayan. The face is right here para sa reaction. And ito po yung aking ina-unbox, which is really great. But probably the best thing about this phone is yung kanyang beautification. Iba talaga yung beautification ni Vivo. Gusto-gusto ko kasi nga mukha kang artista dito. Maliit yung mukha, makinis. Kung camera lang yung habol mo, no? This will certainly not disappoint. Ang dami niya features compared to other phones at this price range when it comes to camera features. Meron pa siyang night mode. Nice. At yung night mode niya, meron din beautification. Yung portrait mode, ang dami niyang styles, no? Yung mga... Fresh. Ay, makeup pala. Nagbabago. Ayun. Nagbabago yung aking makeup depending dito sa styles na to. I just love it. Pero kamusta naman yung vlogging? Okay, so ito yung sample vlogging video natin. Mauga ba? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Medyo. Kaya lang. Tignan nyo ito ah. Meron siyang steady face mode. So, 
Oh, di ba? So, meron ganyan sa selfie video, guys. So, yun. So, hindi siya gano'n ka uga compared sa last time. Meron siyang pro mode, meron siyang time lapse, panorama mode, slow-mo, AR stickers. Ito ay one of the most fully featured camera on an entry-level phone. Well, actually, upper entry-level phone. Ngayon, ang tanong, how much is the Vivo Y73? Ito po. 8128, 14,999 pesos only. Tapos. Well, not exactly upper entry level, no. <laughs> Medyo mid range na yung inum pricing, pero yeah. Uh, for the price, okay na okay na to. Amula display, 8128 na. Ang ganda na camera, panalo pa yung design. If na ko lang kapa, it check mo na siya sa actual store ni Vivo. Baka na kapas kila to dun sa store mismo. And uh, matrain mo na siya in person. Pero para sa akin is the question is. Is it life changing? Well, the specs are not new in 2022, and the design nya kasi is para meron na ako na kita before na vivo phone ito. So yeah, pag sinabi kasi life changing, dapat meron siyang specs na malaki ang pagbabago for the price. For example, 15,000 meron na 120 watts fast charging. Dati 15,000, 33 watts lang. Mao one hour yung charging non. Ngayon 20 minutes na lang or less. That is totally game changing. But yes, I'm in search for a life changing phone on my channel. Kaya kung gusto mo samahan. Mag subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. Tapos si Bins, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Uhu!